You know, I've been holding in a lot of hate in me. It's been over a year since my last episode for this series, and boy do I have a lot to talk about. Don't get me wrong, I love Clash. But there's some things I need to get off my chest. This is episode 7 of 25 Things Players Hate About Clash of Clans. Or better known, 25 Things I Hate About Clash of Clans. So, let's get into it. Let's do this. When you fail to 3 star a lower town hall than you, and begin to question your skills. Am I... a noob? No. No! No! When your battle machine walks across the map for that sweet ass crusher like, where the f*** you going man? I swear the battle machine has some kind of fetish being squashed to death. That's the only explanation I can think of, I don't know. When it feels like you've been trying to max the same town hall for years. I hate this. I get bored too quick of the same thing and Tell Hall 13 has been such a slow, dragged out, stale ass, ugly looking, time consuming experience. Okay, there's no reason I need to roast Tell Hall 13 that hard, but I've only been Tell Hall 13 for a few months. But one thing that is true though, these costs and times, man, they take forever and the progression feels way too slow. When you copy a base from YouTube and it sucks. <laughs> It'd be like that sometimes. Just uh, remember, good looking bases doesn't always equal a good base. When you don't like the season skin, and that's the only thing that motivates you to complete it in the first place. Man, Supercell, what the f is that? My money don't jiggle jiggle, it falls. Okay, it's not that bad, but I don't know how I feel about this one. By the time I upload this video, it'll be gone, so I hope by then we have a sick one. <clears throat> hey, it's me two days later. Uh, what the hell is that? The Forge situation. I have so many questions for Supercell. Why does it take days to forge anything when we're already using our hard-earned resources that already deters us from maxing out our own base? Something doesn't sit right with me, and I'm sure Supercell will change something at least, but right now, I just feel like this whole forge thing isn't worth it unless you're maxed, which I think was pretty obvious to some people, but... I wanted to say it again. Maybe this is who the forge is intended for, but I really want to use it. It's just not super convenient. Removing rare obstacles when you first started playing only to regret it years later. God damn. I did this with my 2013 Christmas trees and what a dumbass, man. I want to smack the shit out of 15 year old me. When you got too many of one thing and the game lowballs you for the extra one. Come on, man. You want to give me five gems for 12,000 Dark Elixir and then turn around and charge me hundreds of gems to buy it? What kind of shit is that? I can't believe how hard they can rip us off. When someone opts in war and doesn't attack. <sighs> Why did you opt in if you can't attack? Okay, I know some people forget to opt out, blah blah, but I feel like some people do it on purpose to piss me off. How there's no home button in the capital bases. Listen, we need a home button that takes us back all the way to the home village. I don't want to go back to the map. Maybe some people do, so you should keep that button, but add another one. I'm tired of going back to the map and then clicking back again just to go to my base. When you copy a base and half of it doesn't fit because obstacles. Of course. I love my obstacles and there's nothing getting in between me and the obstacles, but it sure is annoying sometimes. Like the other day I tried to copy a level progress base, you know, one of those bases that shows all your uh, buildings, only to find out that a large portion of it didn't fit. Sure, I can move stuff around, but... <sighs> I'm just too lazy, man. That's why I copied it in the first place. <laughs> oh well. Maybe I'll try again some other time. When you upgrade something and it looks the exact same. Part of the reason I upgrade something is the satisfaction of seeing a change. But when it looks nearly the exact same, man, come on. Can you spot the differences between these two? Like, come on. What was the whole point of that? When you get a free rune, but it's for the builder base. Oh, brother. It's not the same Supercell, and I know you guys know it's not the same. When you get 100% in a versus and think that surely you won. I mean, you got 100%. Chances are the guy got some, I don't know, 69% or something. But then you come back to the results and <laughs> of course. 
How the f did he win, man? When you're not a co-leader, so you can't edit the capital base. I can assume that it feels shitty that you have zero say in how these bases are designed, unless you're a co-leader. Maybe I can talk more about this in a different update ideas video, but basically, I think if there was some kind of role you can give some members to allow them to edit the base, it could be helpful. The same way you promote people to elder or co, it'd be cool if you can promote someone to a capital base editor. How you get less capital gold for builder base loot in the forge. I think it should be the complete opposite. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but it takes me way longer to get 1.5 million gold in the builder base than it does to get 5 million in a home village. Is it just me? Like, I don't know. How you can only preview sceneries by a small box. Hey, how about this? And I know it's totally crazy, but just let us preview the scenery on our base. I know this has been suggested many times, but it's because it's a great idea. So yeah, why not? The fact that you can't edit the middle of a clan mail, like it's 2022. God, you know what I'm talking about, right? I don't know if it's the same issue on Android, but at least for me on my iPhone, I can't put the cursor in the middle of a clan mail. So if I make a mistake all the way at the beginning, I have to, Erase the entire thing. And it only happens with clan mails. I can move my cursor in the chat or anything, but not clan mails. What kind? Wh why? When your account gets locked. Damn. I don't know how it feels to go through this process, but I've heard it's pretty annoying and it sure does look like it. It basically happens when someone reports your account and they say it's their account, so you have to prove to Supercell that you own that account. It's a whole mess and I'm sure I'd absolutely hate to deal with this. When everyone in the clan just decides to focus on something different in the capital base. What the f are y'all doing? <laughs> this isn't my clan and good. It's cause someone needs to take charge here. When you can't make up your mind between two sceneries. I don't know if I'm the only one, but do you ever like two sceneries and just wish you could have one in between? Like in my case, I really love the Tiger Mountain one because it's nighttime. It feels so different. It, I love the colors. And then there's the Clash Royale one. Instant hit. It's Clash Royale, right? You know, I gotta love it. But it's daytime. Ugh. I wish there was a nighttime Clash Royale scenery something. I don't know. Yeah, that's literally it. Thanks for listening to my uh, rant. Why does it cost so much to fill your clan castle with raid medals? And most importantly, who the fuck is paying for that? <laughs> Why is it so expensive? Like, Supercell really thought 50 raid medals would be a sweet deal to fill your clan castle. I think it should be reduced to way less than 50, maybe like 15 or 10, I don't know. But 50? That's like a huge fraction of what I just got. Electro Dragons. Yeah. That's, uh, that's it. When you find a dead base and it has low level collectors, <sighs> it couldn't do us a solid, huh? What's wrong with you, man? Upgrade those damn collectors so us people farming can get real loot. How the ambient noise is part of the music so when you turn off the music, you also turn off all background noises. Okay, I know some people will think I'm crazy, but I kind of like the birds and the crickets in the builder base. I wish there was some way of not completely turning off all the background noise. Not only that, but some sceneries also have custom sounds. And they all turn off when you turn off the music, which is very unfortunate. So guys, I think that should be it for this episode of 25 Things Players Hate in Clash, uh, Clash of Clans. <laughs> Almost said Clash Royale. Too bad no one wants to see that series. Well, let me know down below if you do. But anyways, let me know down below what you guys think of this video. And if you want me to continue this series, we, it's been a while, but we only have like seven episodes. So yeah, just let me know. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. Have a gaming out. Peace.